Good evening, viewers. Now that I am here, and you know, I enjoyed doing it to be pasta for you all last year so much that I'll be doing it again this year. The story in question I'll be reading is titled Sonic Set AM. The Lost Episode. Now, Lost Episode of Pastas are nothing new. You just take an old TV show, usually a cartoon, and make it as twisted as possible. So, without further ado, here we go. One day I was on eBay, looking for a Socks at AM DVD. I came across a box set containing all the episodes that were made, so I bought it. Not knowing the dangers that lie ahead. Dangers? From a Socks at AM DVD? Really? What, do you expect the girl from the ring to come crawling out of the screen? It came in the mail two weeks after the order had been placed. I ran inside and called my best friend Mario and asked if he wanted to come watch Sonic. No period. He said, without quotation marks, HELL YEAH! About 20 minutes later, he got to my house and he asked if he could see the box the DVD came in. I said sure. Not a single comma or period in sight. He said, hey, it says here that there's an episode that never aired. I said, ah, shit, this is so awesome. So we popped in the disc, no comma, went to menu, and selected the bonus features. I selected the last episode, the title screen came up, and it read, you're dead. We thought nothing of it and continued watching. Well, that sure was one long sentence. Almost like we all forgot what periods were. Uh, I'm sure it won't happen again. Then a loud screeching noise. Came out of the TV, we jumped. Then the episode started. The quality was horrible. Oh, you mean like a sense structure? Then Song appeared with what looked like an M14. Finally a period. Then Song shouted something we cannot understand. <laughs> then he fired the damn M thing. All we heard was the ping pow, ping pow, ping pow. Well, I have never heard a gun or bullet made that sound in my life before, but what do I know? Then somebody screamed. <laughs> Then Sonic appeared for about three minutes. We just looked at each other. Then Sonic came into view with a god awful smile. Oh wow, this is certainly starting to sound familiar, isn't it? We peed our pants. Did not need to know that. Then somebody screamed. Wait, didn't they do that already? And is the screaming coming from the show or inside the house? Then the show was back on and cut the tails, looking pissed off and so did the other Freedom Fighter. Wow, all of the Freedom Fighter? Like Bunny and Sally and Ruder? Huh, I guess they all just became one massive collective. Like what happened at the end of Ava. Then Tails said, We don't have to stay with this fucking bullshit. Let's get that blood son of a bitch and rip his arms off. <laughs> Uh, oh, the team's got a little funny now on him. Then they were at Robotnik's Fortress. Commas, colons, apostrophes, please! This grammar is horrendous. Then Roger Walrus came up from the pack with red hyper-realistic eyes. <laughs> Oh, there it is. We knew it was coming, didn't we? And he had a minigun in his hands. And fired, and all we heard was the firing of the gun. Long string of ours, and then it stopped. We just looked at each other. Your petition is the key, go fuck yourself. Then he cut to the next scene at Show Tales, who also has photorealistic eyes. Then he pulled out a cold pistol and shot Robotnik to death. Then Sack came. Huh, well that was easy. Then he cut to a scene where Sock was walking to the main village. And he was crying, and then Static came. Then Sonic appeared, he was still crying. Then the camera panned in on his face. Then the scene blacked out. Then red text came. It read, <laughs> Then it said, You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. They're dead what? Their dog? Their cat? Their canary? We panicked, finally, and cut back the song with a deep voice that said, <laughs> Huh, this is starting to sound really familiar now, but... I just can't tell why. Then show talk with an early model, double barrel shotgun. Ah, I really wish I could remember what this is reminding me of. Then Sally and Tails walked in and they shouted, No! But Sonic ignored them. He cocked both hammers and pulled both triggers. His head exploded! His eyes lit up from the fire. But for some reason the gun blew open and the shells rolled onto the camera. On the full screen he said, 16 gauge Remington. 
Then the episode ended. Too bad there's still a bit of the story left. In the end credits when it said the date, it said Deke Entertainment 1966. Then it went to the name menu, Week 8. Then it said 1966, but how? But how? I already asked that. The show came out in 1993. Then I tried to eject the disc, but then it came out all one word. It was melted. I contacted Deke to see what reflect they sent me. And they said they didn't know what I was talking about. Then I told him about the date. He said, huh, I didn't know you got a man to respond. That Deke was was not even created until 1971, then hung up. I am fucking winded from having to read it like that. Wall of text indeed. And whoever wrote this, if it was intentionally bad, bravo. Well, I'm gonna go collapse now. If you would like me to read more creepypasta in future, tell me in the comments section. This is Night Rising, thanks for listening. And please, share your thoughts with me.